We're going to do the, the uh, chapter on Advent toward the back of the book, um, page 177. All right, so, uh, but let's begin with an Our Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right, let's jump right into the chapter here. So, Advent. All right, so Advent, the season before Christmas, preparation of Christ's coming. Prepare the way of the Lord. All right, so we want to prepare our hearts uh, for the coming of Jesus at Christmas during Advent. Dear God, thank you for your love. Help us to prepare our hearts for Jesus this Advent season. Amen. So, during Advent, we wait for Christmas. During Advent, we prepare for Jesus to come into our hearts. All right, just as Jesus came into the world at Christmas, was born at Christmas, we want to invite Jesus in a special way again. Uh, but we need to prepare our hearts. All right, and we prepare for many things in life. Uh, and so we want to also prepare for Christmas, Jesus' special coming at Christmas, because he has gifts he wants to bring us. So, learn about God's word. Prepare the way of the Lord. So this is John the Baptist up here preaching to the people. Prepare the way of the Lord. Kind of prepare the way that Jesus, the Savior, is coming. Prepare your hearts. All right, make, make your heart, make a road in your heart straight to the core. Don't put, get rid of any walls in your hearts, any obstacles. God's people waited a long time for the Savior. Advent is a time of waiting and preparing for Jesus' coming. Right, there we are. We have the oh boys there. There's an Advent wreath with Advent candles. So there's four weeks of Advent. So we light it. If you have an Advent maybe a wreath at home, you light one candle uh, the first week, the second week you light two, the third, three, and then you light the rose, right? Light the rose one during the third week. It's not pink; it's rose, all right. And then the fourth week, uh, it's, it's the last candle, so all four of them are lit. But they kind of represent we're getting closer to Christmas, all right. And there's more light than that. The that the that's, that brought up. The closer we get to Jesus, the closer we get to light, because Jesus is the light of the world. All right? he, he radiates with love and light. So we prepare our hearts. We prepare our hearts to welcome Jesus. We are sorry for our sins. We do kind things for others. We prepare our hearts so we, first of all, we're sorry for our sins. We need to recognize that, yeah, I've done things wrong. And so to repent, say, say sorry to God, and then we can do things positively, all right? Build up kind of uh, good virtues that we want to be directed more and more to what is good. And Jesus is good itself, all right? He's fullness of goodness. It's the manger, empty manger. No, it's not Jesus. It's not, it's not Christmas yet. All right, this Advent. We prepare, our, prepare your heart for Jesus. So find and circle the words below. So we got some important words here. So we have hope, peace, love, uh, joy, love, kindness, prayer. Very much importance of kind of Advent. So you can find those words, and I'll just mention a little bit of stuff. So hope, the idea of a good that's coming. So we hope for something that we don't have, uh, but we're it's, we're anticipating or getting ready for it. Peace. How, Jesus wants to bring us peace. Joy. Joy. When we when we enjoy the presence of Jesus, it fills us with divine joy. Love. God is Jesus is filled with love, and He wants us to love and be filled with His love. To love like Him. Kindness. Kind of expression of love. So which kind of kindness being gentle. Patience is also part of that. And then prayer. When we pray, we're, we're allowing the Lord to work on our heart, to prepare our heart. So we'll go through that, through, find the words 
when we zoom. We celebrate Advent in many ways. All right, so here's an Advent calendar. Maybe you've had one of these in the past. There's a little number. There's, let's see here. Okay, this one's lacking in some numbers. Oh, wait, one? I don't know if it has all the numbers. Maybe it does. It's all over. One, two. Okay, they're, all, they're in there, all right? So, but then each day of, of December, kind of you would open one box. And kind of there may be something in there. Uh, either sometimes they're to do, maybe a, uh, maybe an act of love you can do, uh, a prayer, a little quick prayer to say, a task. All right. All right, so we're going to color the, the wreath, uh, the Advent wreath. Color by number. Color the Advent wreath using the following colors. So green, one. Okay, purple for two, pink, well, it should be rose, but it'll let it slip, so pink or rose for, for three, red is for four, and then five yellow. There's your three, five colors, all right, so you're gonna need a, a blue, purple, pink rose, red, and yellow, all right, and you can color the advent wreath, and then we'll see if you got all your colors right, all right, and so, Oh, and number, uh, see, I think four of those little little dots on you, I think they're uh, cherries or like holly, like, you know, so all those little dots are fours, all right, little circles in there. Let's remember our faith. God's people waited as he prepared them for the Savior. During Advent, we prepare our hearts for Jesus to come on Christmas. They have to wait hundreds of years until the Savior came, right? Hundreds, of, well, actually thousands, a couple thousands of years uh, before Jesus was came. But even the Israelites, you know, when they, when King David, uh, it was not, it was a thousand years later till Jesus came. Right? They had a long way. We don't have Christmas. Advent is just like four weeks of prep, all right? So if you just put it in perspective, like, okay, this may seem like a long time, but this is a time for the Lord to prepare my heart. I can be open to all the grace he wants to give me this Christmas. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your love. Help us to prepare our hearts for Jesus this Advent. All right, so that's our kind of we Advent as a time of preparation. So God prepared in the Old Testament the coming of the Savior, Jesus. Uh, and then we hear in the New Testament that Jesus comes, that God keeps his promise by sending his son. But Advent, we're kind of we're doing, we're celebrating, kind of preparing ourselves, just as the Israelites had to prepare for the coming of Jesus. Uh, we prepare ourselves, our hearts, for Jesus' coming, because He wants to flood you with love, joy, and peace at Christmas. And how we do that is we we open our hearts, we set aside time for the Lord to work on our hearts in prayer. I encourage you, you know, even even if you take a little extra time, if you say an extra prayer to each day, just, and Jesus, help prepare my heart for Christmas this year. Jesus, help me prepare my heart for Christmas. Just something, just daily, allowing the Lord to expand your heart so he can fill it on Christmas. All right, our story today is kind of connected with Advent, our Bible story. Here we are, the Annunciation. All right, so Gabriel, this is Gabriel, uh, an angel of God. Okay, they, for, they didn't put wings on there. He's not glowing. I don't, they didn't. They forgot, they forgot to put that on there. Uh, visited a young girl named Mary at her home in Nazareth, a small town in Galilee. Mary was soon going to marry Joseph, a carpenter. Gabriel surprised Mary when he greeted her by saying, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. His words frightened her because she did not know what they meant. Seeing her fear, God's angel told Mary not to be afraid because she had found favor with God. Gabriel went on to say that she was to give birth to a son and to name him Jesus. He would rule the people forever. Mary asked the angel how this was going to happen, come about. Gabriel replied that the Spirit of God would come upon her. Her child would be born of the power of God. 
and would be called his son. Gabriel also told Mary that Elizabeth, her cousin, was carrying a child as well. Although Elizabeth was thought to be too old to have a child, God made it possible. After hearing all that the angel had said, Mary showed her deep trust in God. She humbly said, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. She said yes. Gabriel then left Mary. When Mary said yes, she conceived Jesus within her. All right. And then actually, we aren't going to go through this. But then Mary, right away, she heard that her relative, Elizabeth, is pregnant with, with John the Baptist. So she runs, she goes to, 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 to care for her, her relative, to help her before John's birth. All right. So that we call that the visitation. So Mary, she receives Jesus, and then right away, she's outward looking of how she can assist others. Show her love, care toward others. So. Wonderful. Well, let's just close with a Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.